this is me beautiful sexy and hot um well next video shows me as well i'm currently nine months pregnant in this video and most of the change on my face is as a result of something called cloasma it is also called pregnancy mask when you're not pregnant cloasma is called melasma and it's just a hyperpigmentation of the skin due to hormonal changes it causes dark patches on your face or any sun exposed area um so it's majorly due to sun exposure but um cosma is quite common during pregnancy i it causes a lot of change on my body and it started in the sixth month of my pregnancy in this clip um i am currently two months pregnant um, there's not a lot of change on my face. I'm dancing. I'm having fun. And same as this clip. That clip is a little bit brighter because of the Snapchat filter. But the one that just showed is ordinary. No filter on it. So at this point, I'm six months pregnant. And the cloasma is beginning to show up on my face. My skin is getting visibly darker. But I still try to put on makeup and go out with my husband we went out bowling you know just ha try to have fun and then this is the second trimester right so it's called the honeymoon phase where you feel good first trimester fever and morning sickness is gone you have less nausea you just feel energized so i dance i have fun but then as you can see the cloasma is beginning to show up more and more every day also um that's extreme changes as a result of my body gathering body water um as a result of the pregnancy all um due to hormonal changes as you advance in pregnancy there are more hormonal changes that can cause physical change on your body as well not every woman goes through this change but it's quite common and it's not that extreme in everyone but we see it often. Um, so some treatments for cloasma will be some skin or topical treatment that you can use. Hydroquinone, tretinoin, and azelaic acid. I've also heard about alpha albertine. I'll just write it on the screen so you can see it. So applying this um, topical treatments on your face can help reduce hyperpigmentation that comes out of cloasma. Um, also eating bright colored foods like oranges, um, putting apple cider vinegar in your water, um, tomatoes, almonds, carrots, um, brightly colored bell peppers can help from the inside reduce the hyperpigmentation on my skin. So I've been trying to incorporate these items in my diet to help me kind of get back to normal. But yeah, cloasma is a symptom of pregnancy. It can be common. I've not really had a, any friend that has um, had this pregnancy symptom, but I had it. My mom did not have cloasma when she was pregnant for her babies, but I don't know. It's just gene change. It could be a gene type of thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, here... This is the day before I went into labor. I tried going out for a long, long walk so baby would come because I had bad hemorrhoids. But um, yeah, so we're walking and five hours later, after this video was made, baby was born. So taking a long walk when you are tired of waiting, you've come to full term, you pass 37 weeks, you just can't wait to hold your baby can be productive it was pr pr productive for me once i got into the house after this long walk and dancing and all and contractions on the way baby certainly came five hours later and and he came with like full force so i encourage you to take a walk if you've come to 37 38 weeks and you cannot wait to hold baby um so here i'm having my first labor pains and contractions so we go to the hospital, but it's not unbearable at this point. And the doctor gives me gravol morphine 
and sends me home to eat and rest so we go back home and then that is when i do take the walk you just saw um so when we come back to the hospital i am ready to have baby i have to be settled to take my epidural because now i'm in serious pain but i did take the epidural and the baby was born in like 30 minutes <laughs> yeah it was quite fast that's another benefit of taking a walk when you've come to full term but um this video is more about cloasma hyperpigmentation um what it is about and treatments for it both topical no, and can from within explain that how eat. contractions feel like they are intense it feels like a pressure in your pelvic region and uh, a very painful pressure and it's just your body's natural way of pushing baby down through the bed canal and helping you um deliver baby um so i'm having contractions here but i do not want to go to the hospital and be sent back again so i'm kind of riding it out at this point i have my contraction app and i'm timing the contractions and the intervals in between um here we're in the hospital and i find taking my epidural after a very long time and few dramatic shouts but yeah I, i'm finally ready to have baby i'm just shortly ha after i have my epidural i felt that pressure to push and you know my doctor said women often ask how would i know that is time like how would i know that this is contractions to give birth when you feel it you will know for certain like you just know that it's time to have your baby and babies here we're excited we're grateful to god and yeah and baby's healthy mama is healthy and that is something we're grateful for um so one thing the labor and delivery nurses also the postpartum nurses try to teach you is how to help baby latch on the breast for feeding i had a little bit of issue with that maybe because i, I was on the bigger side at the time so but baby finally latched and he's growing he's beautiful and we are grateful thank you for watching